Welcome back to another video everybody. Today I've got an awesome one for you. Behind me is the 4,000 gallon freshwater pond with a bunch of monster fish. And I bring that up because today we are going after some absolute giants, but we're doing it in a bit of a different way. We're gonna be throwing some uh, pretty strange baits here. We're only fishing the rats today, you guys. We have two different rats. We have a hard body rat that's a joint, and then we have a hollow body rat that's a little bit more like a top water frog style. Both of these are gonna take a super special fish to eat, but I've always wanted to fish a rat lure. I mean, take a look at this right here. This thing is bad to the bone. It's got some super awesome, awesome action to it. Real nice tail in it, and then even some whiskers on it. This thing right here, if we can get a fish to eat, is going to be absolutely awesome. We're going after big fish only, top water bites, snakeheads, largemouth bass, peacock bass, whatever we can get our hands on today. And then we got the hollow body frog, which I feel like this one is going to be pretty damn easy to catch a fish on. Super squishy, long tail, bit of a frog style. It's going to be pretty awesome to see a fish eat a rat. I've always wanted to use a topwater rat because I know fish in our canals here in South Florida, there's so many different types of things that these big fish prey on, from literal iguanas to snakes, to rats, to ducks, to any sort of rodent, to birds. These things will eat just about anything and I have never thrown something of this nature and I'm super excited for it. The footage I'm gonna throw you guys to is actually from this morning and I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty pissed off because for some odd reason, my GoPro decided to go in zoom mode. So all of my fishing footage is pretty much in zoom. So I apologize for that. I'm gonna show you guys the bits and pieces that I can, and a lot of it I'm not even gonna put in because I don't wanna waste your all's time. But uh, yeah, today we're using a topwater rat to catch some pretty damn big canal monsters. And I hope you all enjoy this video. See you guys in the morning. Good morning to you all. It is a glorious, beautiful day here in South Florida. And we've got one goal on our mind. That's to catch a monster on a topwater rat. We're gonna see if we can make it happen. We're heading to the spot right now. It's early, but I think that's gonna be our best chance of getting one of these big fish to eat a rat on the top of the water. So let's see if we can get to it today. Baby. The sun's just starting to peep up right over my shoulder. First thing I gotta do is put some closed toe shoes on because walking the banks here on this lake and on this canal, you never know what you're gonna get greeted by. So safety first, y'all. Right there we have the star of the show today, this top water rat. This one right here is a hard rat with a little bit of a joint in the back to help that thing give it some action. And then we have more of a hollow body frog, which is kind of like a top water style frog. But I think I've been saying frog the whole time. It's a rat, y'all. It's early. It's not even 7 a.m. yet. But that just goes to show you how not used to throwing a rat I am. This is the first time I've ever thrown a rat lure in my entire life. But this one right here, I think is gonna be the one we start off with. It's got whiskers on it. It looks absolutely beautiful. We're gonna tie that puppy up and go start slinging it around. All right. The journey begins with the topwater rat. Oh my God, I think we just spooked a fish right there. I have yet to even see this thing swim, so. Oh my God, that thing looks so damn good. Look at the, oh my God, did you guys see that? Wow, I threw it in the one piece of garbage. Threw it in the one piece of garbage.
There we go. Come on, rat. Let's see what you got. There is a lot of activity going on this morning. I knew that if I got up early... Dude, there are some fish. Holy crap. Come on, rat. You're... Oh, crap. Come on, rat. You're just coming off the bank. Let's see. It's going to take a big fish. It is definitely going to take a big fish to come swallow this rat. I mean, you have to think. These fish 100% see rats, but it's going to take a big one that's going to say, all right, I'm taking down that rat right there. So early morning, rats are just waking up. They're moving around. Look at this little thing coming in right here. Wow. Does that look good or does that look good? No, there's not even a ripple on the surface of the water. So literally the only only thing pushing awake right now are big fish and my rat. All right, a little update for you guys on the hard topwater rat. Tell you what, it's got some good freaking action. When this thing's swimming down the bank, it is definitely pushing awake. It looks really good. I've got confidence in it, so I think it will definitely make it happen. The only thing is that treble hook is starting to snag on a lot of, uh, a lot of grass and stuff, a lot of veg. So there's some fish moving around. I see one right here. We're gonna give it a little bit longer with this one, then we're gonna go to a different style rat. We're gonna see if we can make it happen today. Come on. God, it looks good. All right, checking back in with you guys. This bad boy right here, I'll tell you what, sure as heck looks really good. For some reason, I haven't had a bite on it all morning. I've been fishing exactly one hour and uh, no bites, so I'm gonna cut this guy off and I'm gonna go with the hollow body right there. Blue eyes, a little less of a bulky presentation. This guy's a little more subtle and he's gonna come through the water and uh, I think it's gonna make our odds a lot better of catching a fish on a rat. So, tie this guy up, make it happen. I'm seeing a bunch of peacocks, bunch of largemouth. They're on the smaller side, but I know there's a couple big ones mixed in, but uh, I really just wanna check off the rat on the list. That way we can maybe switch up baits and just start plucking away a fish. Got him! Got him! Big fish! If that's a bass, that's gonna be a stud. What do we got? What do we got? First cast with that rat. Oh, it's a snake. Snakehead monster. Oh my God, first cast of the hollow body rat, instant. Freaking instant, you guys. He's on, the fr he's on a stump, he's on a branch. How are we gonna get you off there, buddy? Oh my God, he popped away three times. He wanted that thing so bad. All right, please no gators. Please no freaking gators. All right, looks like we do that. Nice one, holy crap. Get up and over that thing. Nice fish. Nice fish. Real nice one on the freaking rat. Get up here, oh my God. That's a stud. Whew. That's what we wanted, oh my God, dude. That fish is over 30 inches all day. One, two, and about a half. Oh my God, let me get the big camera. Wow, real nice fish. Hang on, let me roll him on his side here. He's probably gonna flop, but take a look what's hanging out of his mouth right there. The hollow, I knew you were gonna freak out. Get over here, buddy. Look at what's hanging out of the mouth. The hollow body rat. That was literally the second or third cast with this rat right here, and we got it done. The snakehead, this is actually a pretty dang good one. Now let me hold this guy up for you guys. Ah, oh, wow, we fished for over an hour for that one right there. But look what's hanging out of its mouth. That rat, oh my God, these two squirrels are going ham. Take it easy up there, guys. It's early in the morning, all right? It's Sunday, people are resting. 
That's it right there though. That is definitely a monster right there. I mean, I would say about a four, four pound snakehead. But these guys, as you guys can see, they will eat just about anything. This is a gorgeous fish right here. They pull real hard. He ate it like three or four different times. But uh, that's gorgeous. We got it done. Bullseye snakehead on the topwater frog. That is what we were after this morning. Wow, awesome. Well, there you have it to answer the question, will a fish here in South Florida eat a topwater rat? And I think we all can confidently answer and say, Yes, these fish in South Florida here in these lakes and canals, they see these rats and I think when they see them and it's presented the right way, they hammer it. I don't know, I didn't get any bites on that other one, but on this one right here, we got it done. Third or fourth cast. I left my sunglasses all the way on the other side of the canal, so I gotta make my way back over there. So make sure, and they're right in the middle of the sidewalk. I literally remember them falling off my head. I was like, I'll grab them here in a second. I left them. I gotta go back there before they get run over. But I think I'm gonna make one more cast. That was pretty instant. Oh my god, next cast just about. What do we got here, baby? I'm in the tree, there we go. What do we got? Bass? No, another snake. Nowhere near as big. Nowhere near as big. That's a little one right there, but oh my god, back to bass cast, back to back cast. Back to back cast. This frog right here is definitely, oh, he just got off the hook. There you go, buddy, get back in there. Bye bye. Oh my God, they made it out for sure. They were gonna be either crushed or taken. We're alive, baby. Oh, the sun's really starting to come out too, so I needed these bad boys. Can you believe I haven't even had a coffee yet this morning? I had no coffee this morning. That's one thing about me, like don't matter what I'm doing, I need coffee in the morning, except if it's fishing. Early morning, 5 a.m. fishing on the boat. <laughs> See ya. No breakfast, no coffee, straight to fishing. Anything else? Gotta pump the brakes, you guys. I gotta get some coffee. But when it comes to fishing, fishing's my drug, y'all. Gets me out of bed every single morning, and I love it. Well, I hope you all did enjoy that video. I know you guys would have enjoyed it if the camera quality was a little bit better. Usually, that's never happened to me. That's actually the second time it's happened to me in the two years of doing YouTube. For some reason, the GoPro says, screw it, I'm having a bad day, and it does whatever the heck it wants. It's unfortunate, but you know what? I'd rather post the video for you guys than miss a posting day. But if you guys want me to make this a series, maybe next we'll use a turtle lure or a snake lure and we'll bounce around different ponds and lakes and canals. I think it'll be a super fun series. Go see if we can literally catch like a 10 pound bass, something ridiculous. But I hope you all did enjoy. We've got some pretty large things in the works that I believe were about 15 days, 15 or 16 days from when this video is posted. So be on the lookout if you're a fisherman, the fish guys are bringing you something that is literally gonna blow your mind. It's gonna bring the fish guy community together like no other. It's gonna be the biggest and best community in the whole entire fishing industry. From an exclusive fish guy club to amazing baits, tutorial videos, it's gonna be endless and insane amount of value. I cannot wait to share more with you guys. But if you all did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and I love you all so much and I'll catch you all in that next video. Peace out.